Good day everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Learn in Western. My name is Saundarya Lakshmi Narayanan and this video is in association with Alice Blue to help new investors kick start their journey of investing. Well, a fine is a tax for doing something wrong, a tax is a fine for doing something right. So when you make the right investments and earn profits, such profits are taxed under capital gains tax. Before looking into the two types of capital gains tax, if you're new here, do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and also give this video a huge thumbs up so it reaches a lot of new investors. Let's start with today's episode right away. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about the tax levied on most of the investment types that we discussed in the previous videos. So do watch this video till the end. There are two types of capital gain tax long term capital gain tax and short term capital gain tax. Let's now look into the tax applicable for different investment types. If your investment type is real estate and you're investing for a time period less than two years, you will need to pay a short term capital gain tax on the profits you make. Again, for real estate, your investing period, if it is greater than two years, you will need to pay a long term capital gain tax on the profits that you get. If your investment type is stocks or equities, equity mutual funds, listed debentures or government securities, zero coupon bonds, UTIs, units of UTI and you are investing for a time period of less than one year, you will need to pay a short term capital gain tax on the profits that you make. Again, for stocks or equity, equity mutual funds, listed debentures or government securities, zero coupon bonds, units of UTI and you're investing for a period of more than one year, you will need to pay a long term capital gain tax on the profits that you make. If your investment type is debt funds or any other asset classes and you are investing for a period of less than three years, then you need to pay a short term capital gain tax on this. Again, for debt funds or any other asset classes, if you're investing for a period of more than three years, then you will need to pay a long term capital gain tax on the profits that you get. Now let's look into the tax rates of different asset classes and tax types that we discussed. Long term capital gain tax on the sale of equity oriented funds or equity oriented unit shares. 10% is the tax rate that is applicable if your return of investment is above 1 lakh. Other than equity oriented fund units and equity shares, 20% is the tax rate applicable. For short term capital gain, when security transaction tax is applicable, 15% is the tax levied. When security transaction tax is not applicable, short term capital gain tax is added to the income tax slab that you will fall into. I am pretty sure now you have understood why is it important to invest your money in different options like stocks, mutual funds and other equities. Obviously there are some tax benefits which are related to this when compared to the other investment types. There are amazing avenues available from Alice Blue, IPO, shares, equity SIPs, mutual funds and small case. We will be looking into each of them, how to apply, what is this, everything in the upcoming episodes. Next episode is all about IPOs. So do watch the next episode.